Boys can be absolute little demons, can't they? Horrible crows. Little savages. First of all, he gets named. The Peak District. The child just lies there in the pram. Especially once it starts smiling. It's just joy. Pure, simple, uncomplicated joy. And in the midst of a world of confusion and trouble, this little bundle of innocence lies there. And who doesn't love him? And then what happens? It's not very popular in our post-Christian culture. It's uh, uh, the word sin in our vocabulary. Now almost everybody responds to that sweet innocence. I think this question, dying to sin, and uh, I'm going to just quote makes a separate identity and then the little hand reaches out grabs something and very often the parent aids in this process of saying do you want it and the little child says yes or maybe it's the opposite he reaches out and the parent says no and the child, of course, then wants it all the more. And little by little, this little bundle of innocence begins to get complicated. And will, self-will becomes apparent. I want, I don't want. And very often parents again say, do you want, do you like? And so the child begins to divide life into what he likes and what he doesn't like. I want and I don't want. Tears and smiles. Willfulness grows and grows. And as anybody knows who's watched a child developing, this becomes more and you end up sometimes with a real bundle of mischief. Sometimes, you know, I, use worse, I could use worse words. Little horrors sometimes. And you see how it happens. How do we get, how do we get from one to the other? We then take the process from the countries are we occupying right now that. for that Answer flag? That. That. How many Native Americans died for that flag? That. How many? How many? Answer. You're real quiet now. We're talking about genocide. We're talking about colonialism. Genocide. How many people died installing communism in Russia? What the fuck is that? 85. How many people died right now? 